Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to prevent buttons that you create within Excel from moving and shifting with the columns and rows in Excel. And if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com, search for the tutorial, download it there. So what I have here are four sample buttons and um, were this not a sample workbook, I would have four macros attached to these buttons that would print the workbook, close the workbook, clear data from either the workbook or a worksheet, as well as allow me to create a new workbook. And the problem when you create buttons is when you move columns, well, when you move columns like this that have part of the button in them, the button size will change, and it is very annoying. Additionally, if you move the rows that contain the buttons, they also change. So your buttons can very quickly become distorted. And you may say, well, I don't need that. I'm not going to change the columns because I know the buttons are there. But um, here is a good example of how rows can change very quickly without you really meaning to do anything. So say you've typed some sample text in and you're scrolling way over here so you can't see your buttons anymore. But you've got sample text in one of these cells. I'm just going to put it right here and then go up to cell styles right because you want to give it um, a, a nice formatting very quickly so click heading one well look what heading one did it made row two huge which made these buttons huge so that's how you can accidentally mess up the formatting now to fix all of that all we want to do after we create a button right click the button go to size and properties then go to the properties window and right here it's by default going to say move and size with cells we want to change it to say move but don't size with cells click close and I'll show you an example if I move this column right now the workbook or this button right here doesn't change at all but this one does so that's the way that you can fix that problem one other thing I'm going to show you right click size and properties properties. Let's do move but don't size with cells here. And now for these two buttons let's check don't move or size with cells. Because oftentimes you think okay well I want to I don't want my cells to change size so obviously I don't want them to move with the or I don't want my buttons to change size so I don't want them to move with cells either. So I'll just click don't move or size with cells. But the problem comes that when you try to copy and paste these, if you want to put them on multiple worksheets, not everything is going to carry over. So only two of your buttons carried over because these two, clear workbook and print workbook, had don't move with the cells. So unless you are not ever planning on copying and pasting your buttons anywhere, then only select the middle option move but don't size with cells and also if you put user form type buttons in here using the developer tab you're going to insert putting a button like this in here um, you have the same options pretty much just right click the button so if I move this button over um, a column, make the column bigger, button gets bigger. To fix that, right click the button, go to Format Control, Properties, Move, but don't size with cells. Just like that. Also one thing I did forget to mention, so these two buttons right here will not move with cells. So I showed you they won't copy and paste, but also if you move columns between the buttons these two buttons will not move with them so they're not going to resize but they won't move these ones are going to move when the cells move but they will not resize with the cells so that's pretty much or those are pretty much all the ways you can control how your buttons are going to change or distort based on um, how you change the size of your columns and rows in Excel 2007 if you'd like to get the workbook, go to teachexcel.com. You can get everything there. And that's it for this tutorial.